Hey everyone, this is another booktube channel and today my December wrap up and looking forward to January. I ended up doing really well in December in terms of reading output. When the month started I told myself, alright, it's the holidays, I'm going to slow down and maybe just end the year kind of quietly. And then I ended up reading five books, um, which I think might be atypical for me. I think that's more than usual. Um, I guess I got bored with the holidays. Um, but the first book that I read uh, in December was Thin Air, A Ghost Story by Michelle Paver. This book was pretty interesting. It's a light, short ghost story, as the title implies, about mountain climbers climbing Mount Kumchungjunga in 1935. Uh, really atmospheric, um, very slight and fun, good to read on a cold day with a cup of tea. The next book that I read in December was Stormfront by Jim Butcher. Uh, as I got into fantasy in the past couple of years, I had known about the Dresden Files. I had heard of it, and I heard that it was a really fun and easy series to get into. Um, I don't know why I didn't get into it sooner. Um, I decided to finally start it with Stormfront this year, um, this month, and it was pretty good. Um, I didn't love it, I wasn't blown away by it, but it was a solid start. I did a full review of this on my channel if you're interested in seeing that, but basically I felt like this was a pilot episode for a TV show and I'm hoping that future installments, you know, get, increase the budget a little bit. Next up in December was Dolores Claiborne by Stephen King. This was one that I kind of, to me, I took a chance on it because I remember reading it a really long time ago and it didn't leave an impact on me. Um, and I ended up loving it this time around. This is another one that I put up a full review on the channel, so go ahead and watch that if you want my full thoughts, but I really, really enjoyed this book. Another book that I read was The Lost Metal by Brandon Sanderson, the final book in Mistborn Era 2. I also put up a video about this on the channel, so if you want my full thoughts, definitely check that out, but it was a very solid ending to the era of Mistborn that I personally prefer. And finally, for December, I read Trigger Warning by Neil Gaiman. Uh, this one I did want to end the year on something kind of simple. So this was a short story collection, and I love Neil Gaiman. He's very easy to read. So this is why I chose this specifically to be my, uh, my ending of 2022 book. So that's what I read in December. Now let's take a look at what I'm going to be trying to get through in January. So January 2023. The year has begun and I've already started Gardens of the Moon by Steven Erickson. This is the first book in Malazan, Book of the Fallen. I've had this book on my shelf for probably about a year now and I've been really intimidated by it and I decided that there was no better time to get it off my TBR than just get it out of the way first thing in January of 2023. So it's my first book of the year. I'm already about 240 pages into it. And I am enjoying it. It was a bit of a rough start, but uh, I'm into it now. And uh, I hope it keeps up this pace because I really like it. And if it's good, then I could add more malice into my, uh, my year in 2023. I'm hoping to be able to finish Gardens of the Moon in under two weeks. But because of how dense it is, uh, I am going to be hedging a little bit on the number of books that I try to put on my TBR for this month in particular. I do want to follow this up with something that is a little bit shorter and should be easier to read, I'm hoping, uh, and that's The Last House on Needless Street by Catriona Ward. I've heard mixed things about this book. Uh, I saw one booktuber who raved about it, and so I immediately went out and bought it, and then I saw another video from another booktuber that hated it, so I was like, oh, maybe I should have gotten it from the library instead of buying it, but regardless, I'll be giving this one a shot after Gardens of the Moon this month. And I'm pretty confident I'll be able to finish both of those in January, so I will at least start Caliban's War by James S.A. Corey, the second book in The Expanse. I read the first book in The Expanse, Leviathan Wakes, last year, and I liked it a lot. I just never got around to getting the second book. So I got this as a Christmas gift. Thanks, Mom and Dad. Uh, so now I can finally continue it. But... Prose novels are not the only thing I want to read in January. Uh, in December, my reading of comics and graphic novels fell off considerably, so I am going to try to get back into that this month. Um, I need to finish Orion Book 1 by Walt Simonson. Um, I am a big fan of the New Gods World created by Jack Kirby, and Walt Simonson is just one of the best comic 
artists ever uh, in terms of the, uh, the superhero genre in particular. So I'm already about halfway through this one. Um, I'm really enjoying it and uh, just hoping to get this one finished as well this month. And then I will be, this is, these are single issues. This is the collection of the true, the true lives of the fabulous Killjoys national anthem. Um, I picked this up at a convention in November um, and I've been meaning to read it since and I just keep delaying. So I want to stop delaying. I want to get this off my TBR and into my short boxes at the end of this month. Um, I'm a huge fan of Gerard Way. I love My Chemical Romance and his comics have been just as good as his music. Um, so I'm really excited to read this one. As far as potential videos for the month of January, uh, I haven't thought that far ahead. One that I am definitely sure that I, I want to do, it's just a matter of uh, well, whether I'll be able to write a good enough script for it or not, is Mistborn Era 1 versus Era 2. Uh, which one I prefer and why. I kind of let it slip earlier in this video which one I do prefer, but uh, basically an explanation as to why I feel that way. Um, so hoping to have that one out to you soon. I've also got a video going up uh, about Goodreads and why I won't be setting a reading goal for myself this year. So if that's not up already, look forward to that one. And mostly I'm just going to be you know, seeing what I feel throughout the month, um, I'll likely put up at least a few reviews of the books that I read. Uh, but other than that, I like to just take things as they come. So yeah, stick around, subscribe, like, comment, all the stuff that you always hear on these videos. Uh, I appreciate you spending some time with me. Um, but now, it is time to get back to reading.